The study was designed as a phase one study, dose escalation. So we're testing different uh, doses of this uh, virus. Uh, the way the trial is designed is that uh, patients who have uh, malignant pleural effusion, um, most of those patients of course are those with malignant pleural mesothelioma, but then we have a few patients also with non-small cell lung cancer, breast cancer. Um, they have a pleurix catheter placed and then the virus is instilled intrapleurally. And then a few days later, the patients are taken to the operating room for a video thoracoscopy procedure. And at that time, there are attempts to visualize the virus using green fluorescence light. And also, uh, we are taking biopsy samples to see if we can document uh, viral infection into the tumor cells. This vaccinia virus is uh, attenuated, um, so several non-essential genes are removed, so it doesn't cause smallpox infection. Um, yet the, the, the virus still does infect uh, tumor cells. Um, the uh, virus has also uh, been modified with various different genes, uh, including one that uh, will express luciferase that allows the green fluorescence imaging, uh, and then uh, beta glucuronidase and beta uh, beta glucuronidase and beta uh, galactosidase uh, which will allow immunohistochemical uh, testing and so um, the hope is that this virus will infect the tumor cells and it's been shown in in vitro and in vivo models that it can induce uh, tumor cell lysis um, also it's likely that the um, uh, virus will induce an immune reaction, and we think that that also has a major component in the anti-tumor effect of the oncolytic virus.